My name is Emma Swift and my occupation is an enterprise data architect. My job entails the basically looking at data from all aspects, so looking at how you define it, how you store it, how you transfer it and basically how you manage it. I like taking calculated risks and I think the risk that probably was the biggest was moving into IT because that could have gone horribly wrong. Use your enthusiasm is the best advice I was given um, and it's something that never occurred to me. I always knew I was enthusiastic about my role but I never thought I could use that in a positive way. Um, but I found that particularly later on in my career, it's a way of making people listen. If you're completely enthusiastic in their face 24 seven, usually they pay attention. <laughs> my confidence comes from within because I think if you rely on your confidence building from outside of you, you're always risking that disappointment. So I try to really, um, make sure I'm my own best friend in a way, which doesn't mean that I always agree with myself, <laughs> but I always uh, make sure that I'm very comfortable with what I'm doing. If I could see my teenage self now, I think I would tell her to stop being quite as studious, actually. I worried um, an awful lot about um, ensuring that I made the right grades. And when you look back on that, you realise that yeah, it's good to get good grades, but they are merely stepping stones to, to other things. What I love about working in data and analytics is really the variety. So particularly with being an enterprise data architect, no two days are the same. You can be helping somebody write data policies. Um, one day you could be literally um, trying to define how a message structure looks between two pieces of software, or you could be just talking generally about data governance or uh, something that, um, you know, is a, there's a tangible business problem but several ways of, of tackling it and helping people get to the right solution. So it's hugely varied and I think I've felt in all the roles I've done that there's always been um, that drive to get a, an answer to a business question and, and that's what, what drives it really. I don't think IT is dull at all. Um, I think it, it needs more of a variety of, of people, um, and particularly females, because when I think about how many architects I know sort of within Royal Mail, Royal Mail ha it has quite a high technology um, percentage at sort of 16%, but that isn't very big really in the grand scheme of things. And I think, you know, women in particular could bring a lot to the table. Thank you.